विद्रु कॉलेज रेड टू इंग्लिश ड्रामा टूडेज लेसन इज पंक्चुएशन मार्क्स लेट सी वट आर पंक्चुएशन मार्क्स पंक्चुएशन मार्क्स आर साइंस और सिंबल्स वी यूज इन राइटिंग दीज मार्क्स मेक द सेंटेंसेस clearer and meaningful for the reader let's learn the first punctuation mark the full stop the full stop is used at the end of the sentences i think you already know the full stop when we are writing a sentence we use the full stop to finish the sentence Let's see some examples. First one. Tom plays basketball. Full stop. Second one. He gets up early in the morning. Full stop. The second punctuation mark is the question mark. The question mark is used at the end of every question. Let's go for the examples. What are you doing? Question mark. Where are you going? Question mark. Have you seen the new film? Question mark. The third punctuation mark is the comma. Commas are used to separate a set of words but not used before or and. And also we use comma to separate two sentences. Let's see what are the places we can use the commas. First one I need to buy sugar, comma, milk, comma, bread, comma, jam or butter. Second one, my favorite subjects are mathematics, comma, singular, comma, English, comma, art and ENV. In these sentences You can see commas are used to separate set of words. Third sentence. It is an old car, comma, but it is very beautiful. There, comma is used to separate two sentences. Fourth punctuation mark is the exclamation mark we use exclamation mark after a word or group of words showing strong feelings such as surprise anger shock or when giving a command for examples first one wow exclamation mark It is very fast. Second one. What a beautiful day! Exclamation mark. Here, the exclamation mark is used to express the feeling of surprise. Next example. Watch out! Exclamation mark. Fifth punctuation mark the apostrophe The shape of the apostrophe mark is also same as the comma but we apply apostrophe mark on the top of the word we use it to show that something belongs to someone Let's see how we put the apostrophe in the sentences First one That is John's little red car 
Second, this is my sister's bedroom. Third, my friend's house is big. In these sentences, you can see the apostrophe is used to show the ownership. Little red car belongs to John. Bedroom belongs to sister. House belongs to friend. It shows that something belongs to someone. I hope you all understood the lesson punctuation marks. How many punctuation marks did we learn today? We learned 5 punctuation marks. Let's recall them again. First one, the full stop. Second, the question mark. Third, the comma. Fourth, the exclamation mark. And the last, the apostrophe. Let's go for an activity. You have to read this paragraph and apply the correct punctuation marks in the correct places. Now, I am going to read the paragraph for you. Tina goes to market. One Sunday morning, Tina went to market with her mother. She saw many kinds of fish, meat, vegetables and fruits. Mother bought tomatoes, mangoes, beans and carrot. While walking through the market, she saw a big toy shop. There were different types of toys. She was surprised. The shop owner came and asked, What are you looking for, little girl? I want a big doll, said Tina. The shop owner showed her dolls of different colors. She picked a pink doll and looked at her mother's face. Mother smiled at Tina and bought it for her. Tina was very happy. Now, you have to copy down this paragraph in a paper and read it again. Then, you can apply the punctuation marks while reading. Let's do it together. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Tina goes to market. One Sunday morning, Tina went to market with her mother. Full stop. She saw many kinds of fish, comma, meat, comma, vegetables and fruits. Full stop. Mother bought tomatoes, comma, mangoes, comma, beans, and carrot full stop. While walking through the market, she saw a big toy shop full stop. There were different types of toys full stop. She was surprised exclamation mark. The shop owner came and asked Come on, what are you looking for, little girl? Question mark. I want a big doll. Come on, say Tina. Full stop. The shop owner shows her different colors of dolls. Full stop. She picked a pink doll and looked at her mother's face. Here, mother's apostrophe mark and at the end, full stop. Mother smiled at Tina and bought it for her. 
full stop tina was very happy full stop this is the end of the lesson punctuation marks goodbye my children stay safe